hello and happy Monday. I hope you have all had a good weekend. And um, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. And my name is Amy and this is Mix It McGee. And my channel is just a mixture of cleaning videos, cooking videos, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, stuff like that. So if you like that, you are definitely in the right place. So make sure that you stick around and don't forget to subscribe. And today's video I am super excited about because I finally found Cake Boss cooking, like baking utensils at our Dollar Tree. I've seen other people haul them. Um, our Dollar Tree never had them. Finally, they got them. So I'm going to start out with that. And the first thing that I'm going to show you are these little spatula there's two of them and they're so cute um, devoted to dessert and born to bake that is definitely me love those and this little whisk you can see buddy right there and let's see I got these and it's a two-piece icing spatula set. And you don't have to just use them for icing cakes. You can do all kinds of things with them. So, yeah, these are super nice. And two of them. Love them. Love, love, love. So excited about that. And I got some Betty Crocker um, kitchen scissors. I needed some of those. Um, everything I got is red. I just noticed that. I got another little plastic bowl. Um, I did have a white one. It broke. I had to throw it away. Uh, that's like my second one I've gone through. But that's my fault they're breaking. So I also got this butter dish. It's just plastic. But I thought it was, it was pretty. Got a butter dish. And I got, uh, let's see. I don't know where to put all this stuff in and I got these cute little salt and pepper shakers. They are glass, little handles on them. I'm still using my pumpkins. I figured I better get some new ones. So there's those. And let's see, I think that might be the end of my kitchen stuff. So now I can get to the Valentine stuff. So let me show, oh wait, I have one more kitchen item. And it's just a cooling rack. Put my cookies on, cakes, breads, muffins, all that good stuff. Okay, so now Valentine's stuff. So, sorry. Um, I got this little, I, get, I don't know, I guess it's a base. Little hearts on it. It's perfect for Valentine's. I'm going to put something in there for sure. And then I got, okay, so I have three kids. Two are older, um, grown, moved out of the house, one's married. But, um, like Christmas time, I always get them a stocking. Um, Easter, they always get a basket. And Valentine's, they're gonna get little um, goodies too. So there's two of these little plastic buckets together and they've got little handles. And I figured I would put some cute little Valentine stuff in there for my older ones. And then I've got this one for my daughter who is uh, still at home. And this one's really pretty. It has hearts that go all the way around. And it's deep, so you could probably put a lot in there. So that was nice. Um, and I just got some little cute Valentine stuffed animals. I don't know, I might put those in the buckets. Thought they were adorable. And they have a bunch of these, all different kinds. Okay, so now let me show you this. This is really cute. This is a bucket, it says love you. You could do all kinds of things with it. I am going to put some light green, like a star foam thing in there. And I'm just gonna put some flowers in it. Um, so I got these to put in there and look how pretty these are. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's got little hearts and they're, they've got glitter on them. So I got two of those. Oh no, I think I got three of those. Let me see. Nope, got two. So I got two of those, and then I got these. I've got pink in them to put in there with them. And these. So we're gonna have like red, dark pink, light pink, 
that's gonna be pretty. I get that together. And then I got this scarf, little Valentine's scarf. And what I'm probably gonna do with this, maybe, probably, is tie it like, once I get the flowers in, oh no. I was gonna say maybe I could like tie it around, but I don't wanna do that because I don't wanna cover that up. Hmm, I'll have to figure something out where to put that. Okay, so my last thing is, I am not a craft person and I don't do DIYs, but there is a channel that I follow and I think it's, I think her name's Elena. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Elena, but it's Elena Jenkins. Um, I'm gonna put her link down below this video that I saw her do the other day. She was doing a uh, Valentine wreath and she'd gotten everything from Dollar Tree. So I figured I would go ahead and try to do it. So here is the heart. And what she did was she got the heart and she had some um, like tan rope twine. And then she just kind of put it in the middle and just went around and around and around till it was, it was filled in. Um, my Dollar Tree didn't have any, so I didn't get any. Um, so I'm gonna do it without that. But what she did was she filled that in and then she got some white flowers. And I think in her video, she said you're gonna need like seven of these, but this is all the Dollar Tree had. Mine, one, two, there's, so there's four, and these are really pretty. So she got these and she, of course, you know, pulled them off and then she just started like hot gluing them all around here which was really pretty and then right in the middle of hers she put a pink flower so um i'm probably going to have to oh wait i got these was it these these pink ones um since i don't have as many white ones i'm gonna have to use these uh we'll see we'll see how that turns out um i will do a video on it so uh, fingers crossed that turns out. Um, like I said, I'm not a crafter. I wish I was. I see so many cute crafts that people do and I just, yeah, I don't mean, I, I don't think I have enough patience for all that. But anyway, um, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you all have a good week and um, I hope that you all have a safe week and I will see you on my next video. Bye.